How about staycation in the kingdom of staycations, Las Vegas? From the best luxury hotels of Las Vegas to the latest brand new ones, and also DDN's favorite. Are you ready for Vegas? Let's go together. What's up, guys? This is DDN Korean Traveler. In 1906, the first hotel was built in the Las Vegas desert. Now it's the Vegas Old Town. It was the Golden Gate Hotel on the Fremont Street. By the 1980s, lots of hotels and casinos started popping up, and Las Vegas became the center of the casino trade. But at the time, Las Vegas was only known for casinos, and not for entertainment. That's when one man entered the scene, who turned the whole place over, Casino King Steve Wynn. In 1988, Steve Wynn launches a hotel right next to Caesar Palace, known as Hotel Mirage. It costs $630 million and is tropical and mirage themed. This large luxury hotel was unprecedented. It is decorated with gold and bronze and become popular for its aquarium with dolphins in it. It is also home to Las Vegas' longest running free show, the Volcanic Eruption Show. Later, Steve Wynn launched the famous pirate show Treasure Island and lead Vegas iconic hotel Bellagio to success. So the city that was known for casinos and illicit stuff became a family-friendly city of entertainment. But he didn't just stop there. He sold all his hotels in 2005 and launched a hotel after his own name. And it is this hotel that I will be introducing you to, the Wynn Las Vegas. Its particular curved design and sparkling bronze color includes two similar yet different hotels. A Wynn Hotel by the Strip with soft curves and another Wynn Encore Hotel with bolder curves. The two hotels were inaugurated three years apart. Wynn Encore's rooms are large but fewer in number, part of its room have almost no view. The room I stayed in was in the original Wynn Hotel, let's start with the check-in. As soon as you enter, you can see the flower pattern on the ceiling. Not just any flowers, slightly oriental looking flowers. This gets more apparent as you enter the hotel. It seems like a Chinese or Vietnamese design. It is very popular amongst the Americans here. It's also wins photo zone. You can see how the theme of this hotel continues on. You can experience Eastern sensibility all the way in American here. If you think about it, surely Americans also prefer something more exotic when they travel. The check-in counter is large much like the hotel itself. Along with the eastern flower pattern, there is the classic western style. Outside the check-in counter, you can see Wind Hotel's pride, a man-made lotus pond and fountain. It's quite large for just being a part of a hotel. It's quite relaxing to just look at, but at night you can see media-based shows at the fountain. You can see these shows even if you are not a guest, as long as you are on time. And of course you can see the huge casinos on the first floor itself, not a common sight for us. This is the theater where Lulev, one of Vegas' three top shows, was performed once. Unfortunately, due to Corona, it's no longer on. They are preparing for a new show, apparently. The room I stayed in was the panoramic view room with a view of the main street of Las Vegas. It is very elegant in a traditional way, and surely it's a bit old looking to seeing its age. It's a feeling you can't get in Korea. It's particularly American, this room. Matching bright beige floor and walls, and the hotel flower design has found its way here. There is a painting hanging in here. While the golden silky bed sheets were nice, they also felt a bit rusty. On the side, there is a large sofa and a work desk. On top of this rather new looking desk was an Amazon AI speaker. If you are bored, just talk to Alexa. TV is set up in a bit of an awkward place. Under this, there is a mini bar which looks like kids could easily get into it. Even if you take the stuff out for a moment, the sensor detects it, so be careful. Even though it is the panorama room, the view isn't that great. The Wynn Hotel is a bit away from Central Street. Palazzo, a Venetian hotel, is blocking its view too. Personally, the view was a bit disappointing. But the room is large enough for a separate seating area in front of the window, although it's not even a suite. The bathroom is huge too, the sink, bathtub, and everything else is nicely spread apart. If you open the inside door, there is a toilet. There is also a small TV next to the sink, and for cosmetics and amenities, there is a Win Hotel brand products available. 
Although it's true that this is an old hotel, but Las Vegas generally has a more retro style. So personally, I think Wynn Hotel actually suits the place the best. So are there no trendy modern looking Las Vegas hotels? Let's look at the new mammoth scale Las Vegas based Resort World next. Canting Group, Malaysia's famous casino company, run Resort World multinational casino and resort brand. In June of 2021, they finally opened up in the heart of casinos. Resort Wars looks like two semicircular buildings attached together. It is on the opposite end of the northwestern road from Wynn Angkor Hotels. Those of you with a sharp eye for architecture might see some similarity between the two hotels. The curved semicircular shape of the buildings, similar color too. Honestly, it's pretty similar to the extent that Wynn Hotel sued Resort World. A Resort World doesn't just have plain walls, but has the largest LED screen walls anywhere in the country. Looks like a city from the future, doesn't it? Not only this, the parking for Vegas roof, the underground tunnel made by Elon Musk, is located in Resort World, allowing visitors to reach the hotel from the airport in a few minutes. There are three hotels inside the resort wall, Truck Ford Conrad, all luxury higher level Hilton type brands, and lower tier Hilton itself too are a part of this. Thanks to Resort World for those with Hilton memberships, there is a lot of options. Amongst these, I chose Conrad, which is luxurious yet familiar to us. I really like the lobby, which set the first impression. The pitch walls with slight gold highlights and the elephant art behind the check-in counter was very pretty. It went well with the blue carpet. Even the chandelier above the concierge was beautiful and unusual. One disadvantage is that there is always a lot of people, which means always a long wait here. The room I stayed at was the basic room called Premium, with a street view of Las Vegas' main strip from the 20th floor. The room too was of the same design as the lobby, light, beige tone and modern. Though the highlight is red here, Kentin Group is run with overseas Chinese capital, hence Chinese taste enter even the designs here. But it looks pretty sophisticated and doesn't stand out too much. It was smaller than the room in Wynn by 10 meters square, but still quite large in comparison to general hotel rooms. It was modern, reflecting contemporary taste well, the window did face the strip, but there was just a plain empty space up front, not pretty in the least. I think if you want a proper Vegas view, you have to go to the center. And because of the LED screens outside, the light shines all night, without blackout curtain, there is no way to sleep. If you open this slightly unstylish door, you can find the bathroom. White marble and black sink cut a contrasting image. The LED lights around the mirror are very noticeable. There is no bathtub though, and the shower booth is separated from the toilet. Amenities were in common use containers, the product itself was amazing though. My favorite Byrata Mojave can't complain. Moving on from the room, the arcade here was the biggest of all that I've seen in Las Vegas. And of course the dazzling casinos, various restaurants and shops, conventional and concert hall with a great lineup. Place artwork and happening clubs, it was a hotel with varied options. And of course there is downsides too. It's not very Las Vegas, just more like large mall. And as this is made with Malaysian overseas Chinese money, it does feel Chinese at times. Not particularly grating, but definitely not the Las Vegas feel. And there is no room service, instead you can order from restaurants around or through your smart TV by paying a delivery fee. To put it bluntly, there is no room dining. They take money and connect you to the restaurant. So the classy room service meal you are dreaming of is not possible here. To conclude, in comparison to all Las Vegas hotels, the modern feel was very nice. It's a spanking new Conrad and not expensive, so next time in Las Vegas, I will perhaps stay a day or two here. Finally, let's look at my favorite hotel in Las Vegas. It's Cosmopolitan. If you ask me why, the answer is simple, just look at this. I'm a view scenery fan after all, the most Las Vegas of all views can't help but love it. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas is at the very center of the Las Vegas Strip. It's great for walking around and has an amazing view. Singing something far through a window and singing it right in front of you is different, 
Because of terrace in its room, the large hotel's fountain show is easily visible from your room. The design in the hotel followed the magazine cosmopolitan style, but the style didn't make it to the rooms. The rooms were modern and clean looking. It's been 10 years since it opened, but it looks very new. As this was a terrace studio room, the living room and the bedroom aren't completely disconnected. There is a low partition that divides the space and adds depths. The functionality was great. The sofa was large enough for the party. Because of the dark carpet, the room feels a bit dark. And the size of the room is almost that of suite, so the bathroom is big. There is a bathtub and amenities from the brand 5 Wit. The hotel lobby is a modern as the rooms, slightly Harry Potterish even. The pillars have screens, so it always feels different to look at. Apart from this, there is Marquee Nightclub, most famous in Las Vegas. Many different restaurants and casinos, famous landmarks and eateries are right in front. So there is a lot to do outside the hotel too. Plus like Cosmopolitan Marriott, it is autograph collection hotel, you can get Marriott member points. But it wasn't a big deal. All you get is lounge entry for platinum members and up. I didn't even get an upgrade, perhaps because it's the season right now. Don't expect much from your membership. It is important which room you get because of the view. Cosmopolitan has two towers, Chelsea and Blue Bird. Blue Bird Tower is right by the strip allowing the best views. Chelsea Tower is a bit on the inside with a view of the parking lot, but the Bellagio Fountain Show is visible from the side which is arguably a better and prettier view. One of the best moments on this trip to Vegas was watching the fountain show. Cosmopolitan would be my number one choice if I go to Vegas again. If it felt like you were on staycation with me in Las Vegas, click the like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications. This was Didian, Korean Traveler. Thank you.